what's going on amazing alpha shooters in today's video let's talk about sony a6000 and how to get amazing photos first of all is it possible to get amazing photos with a6000 or any a6000 series cameras yes it definitely is and there are basically three things we're going to cover in this video and by the end of the video i hope you can just go out and shoot and get your photos a lot better out of this old but lovely camera so let's start all right then the very first thing is a lens upgrade i know it sounds a little bit silly but most likely your camera came with this uh, 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens and I, I made a video about it, check it out and see what it can do but honestly the lens should be the first thing you upgrade. Even though the camera is old, with the good lens you're gonna get a lot better results instead of having this kit lens with a lot better camera. That's just how it is and usually I would recommend to get a zoom lens but the problem is that a zoom lens is really expensive if you want to get a good one. 17 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 Tamron is one of my favorite ones but it will cost you more than the camera itself so to immediately see the results on a budget I would recommend for you to get a prime lens because I think it really is you know great quality you get the shallow depth of field you get that low light performance all of those good things and not break the bank one of my favorite ones is Sigma 30mm f1.4. I made, again, another video about it. Just check it out, uh, the first prime lens which you should be getting. And I think it's gonna be a really good start for you. Thing number two, I don't recommend you to shoot in very challenging environments. If it's like super dark, you know, outside night or indoors with bad light, forget about that. Go out, nice weather. Don't, I mean, okay, avoid maybe a very harsh light in the midday, but you know, like morning hours, evening hours, when the sun is still up, you have beautiful light, your shutter speed is gonna be fast, you don't have to increase your ISO, you know, your pictures are not gonna be blurry. You'll see it's gonna be a lot easier to master and shoot better pictures and focus on composition and all the other things in order to, you know, get good quality photos and not worry about cranking up your ISO and all the stuff that is not really necessary, especially if you're a beginner. Thing number three is basically all the settings. I think, you know, it is worth to spend a little bit time on mastering the camera itself. So for example, first of all, shooting in RAW and, you know, maybe avoiding the auto uh, settings on the camera, but, you know, instead of shooting in aperture priority mode, maybe even manual mode, and just explore all the settings and, and see how the camera works in order for, for you to have the full control in order to really make sure your picture delivers exactly what you imagined. And that being said, I would just throw uh, the fourth thing, the bonus thing, Obviously, you know, your skills is also very important because no matter how good the camera, no matter how good the lens is, how good the light is, if you don't think about things like composition or the story or, or the emotions in the picture, if you don't have any of that and you're just like shooting left and right without any subject or any idea of what you're shooting, obviously, you know, you can have the best gear and the pictures won't come out good. I mean, they can be sharp, but <laughs> not pleasing to look at. So let's keep in mind that you also need to improve your skills as a photographer you know go out and shoot and learn and obviously then you'll get amazing pictures and leave a comment down below guys of what is your recommendation for other beginners on what do you think is the key of getting amazing photos i'm very curious of your thoughts just leave a comment down below i'll catch you all in the next video very soon of course don't forget to keep on creating bye guys see you soon